Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion, place of binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're gonna use Eden. As you might be uh, aware, we're on a little bit of a streak right now. What is this? Not the most amazing stats. CZBZ Y8PW. It really sounded like it should go Y8PZ, but it did not go Y8PZ. Um, we start with Gigafart and Rainbow Baby. I would describe this as um, not fantastic. 2 HP is at least average, so we can't really complain about that, but um, certainly a little bit lower on the power level than a lot of our recent runs, and Dead Bird is not going to do a whole hell of a lot to, to change that perception for now. But Gigafart can be okay. I hate it because it's unreliable. It has a tendency to, uh, you know, miss when you need it to hit, and hit when you, you know, don't need it to hit that enemy. But it looks like there is a library on this floor, so it might be worth our, uh, our time to explore get a key, hope that it actually is a library and not just a tease that has like three, uh, you know, tarot cards or something in it, although the tarot cards could also be useful depending on what they are. Um, you know, getting a Book of Revelations, Book of Belial, Satanic Bible, Book of Sin, Necronomicon, like any of those would probably be better at this point than going with Gigafart, an item that I think you gotta say, it's in the bottom third of items in Isaac, but let's not be too harsh, we might be stuck with it for a little while, let's see what we got in here. Hmm, how to jump. And Book of Secrets. I guess I'll take out a jump. It is like a little bit similar to a dodge roll. I don't think it's as good as the dodge roll from, say, Enter the Gungeon, but it's it's maybe not um, horrible here. Uh, we didn't really get anything out of our room there, unfortunately. I'm saving the cherry card for like a, a difficult boss fight, so if we fight like Ragman on this floor. He's not the most difficult boss in the game, but he is like the most difficult boss we're probably likely to face here, or the haunt or something like that. An extra key is good. It's not like we can use it for anything just yet, but um, if we get the money necessary to make the shop worthwhile, sure, then, you know, why not? Actually, I'm trying to, like, space is important when your run is a little garbo, so I'm happy about the fact that we have how to jump so I can sort of space out these enemies that chase us down a little bit, but apart from that, this is definitely a little bit on the weaker side for now. At least we're not at 1 HP though, that changes a lot. So we will take our black card here, it gives us a great chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. Um, what are we going to do with the deal with the devil on the next floor? I don't know. Hopefully we'll actually get some extra damage out of it, but... Hmm. Okay. So this is actually really good. We're fighting an easy boss here in the form of Famine, and he's guaranteed to give us a cube of meat or a ball of bandages. Um, I probably should have been hit there, that was terrible positioning. That was... <laughs> don't speak to me about what just happened right there. However, um, having Cube of Meat is going to be awesome, and especially with the Chariot card, this means that whatever boss we face next is going to get nuked down super easily. It's just up to us to make sure that we don't actually take, you know, absolutely ridiculously bad damage and manage to keep ourselves in the running for a deal with the devil as we head down. So an early Spirit Heart would be nice. Hopefully, the game finds it in its heart to give us a chance to make that dream come true. For now, though, uh, can't really afford to go into the curse room. Ooh, it's a card, Hero Font. Death card. Actually, death card is pretty good. Um, don't need to use it in this situation. Just save it until, like, it's extremely prudent, and we'll go back for the other card. Wafer is so good. Unfortunately, it's not good right now. It's only good, you know, in a bit, but I'm, I'm still super stoked to have this. This is going to be awesome for us. If we can just make it down to the womb, then this is, you know, possibly the most valuable item that we have. But for now, let's keep it up. Is this room worth using a death card? I don't think so. I uh, was hoping for a bomb drop there. We do have a Tinted Rock available now. So we're starting to see, like, the gears turning for how we can actually make this run, you know, set in stone for us to have a pretty easy chance to win. So we do still have that Chariot card, which, honestly, I should probably just go um, take advantage of as soon as possible. Or at least, like, not, not use it as soon as possible necessarily, but have it as soon as possible. So that we can, um, you know, pop it in a panic if necessary. Now it's all about just taking these guys. If we get hit by them, like, they're not even aiming at us. So, it's just a, you know, nerve impulses. Ooh, don't really want to stand right there. But we did it. Uh, could go to the shop. In fact, if we get five cents, I feel like, yep, yeah, there we go. Now the shop is definitely, like, on our to-do list. And if we get a spirit heart, I'm not saying we're set. But we're in a really, really good position. Um... Thank God I didn't just walk into the fire right there. I would love to get a bomb too, but a three cent spirit art is a-okay by me. 
Still got two cents remaining, which means if we get a little bit more, we buy the bomb, blow up the Tinted Rock. At this point, you know, I would love more Spirit Hearts. But as long as it's not a golden chest, I'd be okay. You know, like, bomb for a bomb and a key. The bang, the bang, dicky. Bomb for a small rock, of course, is amazing. Not, not gonna blow any minds by saying that. That's a well-established, uh, you know, Isaac strategy. Get that small rock for some reliable early game damage, if possible. Battery charge does nothing. All right, who we got? Monstro. To be honest with you, I don't really love the idea of using the Chariot card to kill Monstro. It's just too easy. Now, the Chariot card is not, like, an incredible resource. I definitely don't have, like, too good to use Syndrome, but Monstro is not tough enough to warrant the use of a, um, of a Chariot card here. So we got a lot of Spirit Hearts out of that. Ooh, and a pretty good deal with the Devil. In fact, I'm actually gonna go pretty hard on this, and I, I took everything. So we got Dark Matter, we got Black Powder, and we got uh, Empty Vessel. We didn't need to take Black Powder. Like, that was probably a little bit overly ambitious of a pickup, but I was excited that we had all this extra HP, and um, maybe that was a little overkill, but, you know, our speed is high enough to maybe give us a chance to use Black Powder a little bit. I regret it. I do regret it. Um, let's see what we've got in here. Fan teleportation or deal with the devil? I don't think we need to open the other stuff, honestly. I think we just go in here and then, honestly, probably cherry it out. Relax. Pheromones. Cherry it out. It didn't cherry it out. I hit the Q key, but I guess because I had recently put something down, um, I wasn't able to use it. I'm not too beaten up over it. We'll just use the cherry on the next floor. It's still got value for us. Okay, great stuff. Ability to fly, regular invincibility, or irregular invincibility, either way. Um, okay, I, you know what? I didn't really want to go to the curse room anyway. You know, when I walked into the curse room, you may have taken that as like an assumption that I wanted to go into the curse room, but you know what happens when you assume you make an ass out of you and you make an ass out of me too. Now, just keep yourself back here. All we need to do is just stay away. I don't think this pill is gonna be good, and you know what? I'm a negative Nancy, because that pill turned out to be amazing. Let's head down into the cursor. It worked. I don't believe it. Uh, I am going to cherry it out. I think it's worth saving half a spirit heart. I have to admit, um, Dark Matter has not really made our damage that amazing. The real, like, stellar pickup that we got there is definitely going to be Empty Vessel. The occasional invincibility is not quite, you know, Unicorn Stump levels. But it does allow us to, uh... Just idiotic right there. It does allow us to, uh, on occasion get a little bit of sweet ass like Cuba meat action. I gotta get my head in the game here. We're taking some damage that we really should not be taking. The wafer's great, empty vessel's great, dark matter is great, but there's no reason for us to be taking this amount of stupid damage. We got a streak here! You got a little baby streak you wanna protect. Let's not uh, throw that away for like no reason here. Galvanize yourself, start playing a little better. Oh, the invincibility. I love it. I think we'll try. And the first one gave us a key. That's all we want here. You know, we got a little bit of the um, gold chest casino. As long as we get paid back with a, a key, and we got three keys, four three keys, so we're set here, and a damage upgrade. This is one of the best um, payouts we've had on this room that hasn't just been like four items. We have had the four item gold chest shuffle before. It's ridiculous. I love it. Um, but Steven is one of the better choices we can get here, honestly. You know, just a raw damage upgrade, even if it's not that much damage. It's, uh... Wow, that sucks. It's damage we didn't have before. I don't know how we got hit there. I think they squeezed into the diagonal a little bit, but... I really could use more damage. Not to be greedy, but just because of the fact that... The Cuba meat, it's too tempting, man. Or the ball of bandages, it's, it's so tempting. I find myself... Doing my damnedest to get in there. Do that Cuba meat damage, I can feel it. Right down on my plums. Let the boy watch. MP4, etc., etc. But just like one extra teensy weensy sweet ass deal with the devil. I was trying to work that into like a lecherous old man double deal with the devil. It sort of works, but not really. Like spider mods not quite good enough. I think we just buy the spirit heart and maybe this. I'm not really worried about a, a blood bank, so uh, or an arcade in general. Although honestly, if we got 
Isaac's room, that would be awesome. But I don't think Isaac's room, like, that's independent of our deal with the Devil Chance, so I don't think it matters. Um, the Stain. I'm hoping the Red Poop comes back and does damage. I think it did, and it actually pushed him back as well, so that's nice for us, I suppose. It's really like Rate of Fire and then a little extra damage on top would be nice. Come on. Come on. You can give me nine lives first if it makes you feel better. Nope, no deal with the devil. Um, but we do get actually a really, really good uh, pageant boy. Pageant boy in general, not the most important item for us to get right here. But uh, the fact that we managed to get a couple of nickels out of it does make it better. It's like picking up like a shitty quarter. We got exactly 15 cents, I think. Which is like a really shitty quarter. If I gave you a quarter... And then you took it to a store and tried to buy a piece of gum, and they're like, this quarter's only worth 15 cents. You'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's a shitty quarter right there. I'm trying to think of, you know, you know what was a shitty quarter? The Golden State Warriors against the Cavs, uh, first quarter of game six, am I right? I know nothing about basketball, okay? Except that it was invented by a half-Canadian man, and as such, it is our sport. <sighs> it takes a lot to make me say no to Dead Onion. Shoop the Whoop is actually pretty good. I mean, like, it's not what we need, but it's good. It hurts me to say no to a couple of those items. Like, Shoop the Whoop could have been awesome for us for damage. Is the mind the right choice? The mind is a terrible thing to waste. I don't, I don't really know how that relates to the situation, but... It's the dang truth, isn't it? Alright. Just use bombs. We're still at a surplus of them. And we, I mean, we got two just for blowing that one up, so... So got a moon card, so I think we save our moon card because we've already, you know, blown up an entrance point here. Um, we'll take our extra five cents. We'll get the heck out of here. To be honest with you, we have not really gotten uh, much stronger. We got Steven. And that's, that's it. I mean, there's nothing more to say. I guess we can get spider mod. It's not bad. Freezes enemies. Um... But picking up, like, just Steven from this floor is not very good. We're definitely in need of HP, tears, and damage. You know, the holy trinity of items that actually make it plausible to win uh, an Isaac run. HP in particular would be really useful so we could actually, uh... So we could actually grab a deal with the devil and then get the other two. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be picky about how the platform actually takes place here. So originally, I was gonna use the moon card to get out of here. I'm very thankful for Guppy's head, by the way. But I think our first order of business, now that we got two spirit hearts in there, is like, don't sweat it too much. Use the, um... Use the, um... Spirit hearts that you got to get out, and then teleport out of this boss trap room. Save yourself a little time, give yourself a chance at boss rush, perhaps. And, uh, hopefully we get, well, something in the order of consumables here. Not amazing, but decent. I'm gonna ignore Cursed Eye for now. That may not, uh be true forever, but I am going to ignore it for now. We've got, like, what I assume is going to be a double key room down here, so I'm just going to ignore that for now, too, and we're going to worry about the item room in the shop uh, with our very uh, limited amount of keys so far. Wow! Uh, we got two dimes for blowing up the key beggar. You know, if you want to give us 20 cents every time we blow up the key beggar, then that is fine by me. But unfortunately, most of the time, that is not the case. I hate that I have this mental compulsion to just consistently use my cube of meat to do all my damage here. It's a problem. Tech point five does alleviate this to some concern, or to some degree. I'm sorry for like the the business, you know, commentary here. I don't consider myself a business commentary sort of guy, except for the fact that I am the dude who's always telling you to put your money into, you know. Uh, you know, a low fee uh, index fund, so you can stand the gain maybe six to seven percent annually. Of course, you know the market has fluctuations. Past returns are not a guarantee of future returns, and all that. But at the same time, you know it's fiscally responsible. But I'm not really a businessman. I'm a businessman. Let me handle my business, damn. And and business is not really booming. It's in the same position it usually is because they're not really making any more late '90s and early 2000s uh, top 40 jams. So I'm starting to like run out of things to reference. Pretty soon we're going to be in like the we're gonna be talking about the fucking Venga Boys or something, but for now it's still it's going okay. Hematemesis. It would have been really nice to know that that was Hematemesis, so we could have used it on our uh, second secret room. But life goes on. This is let me engineer for you or architect for you the greatest deal with the devil we could possibly hope for. It's very simple. Give us uh, nine lives plus any other guppy item. 
We get to maintain Empty Vessel. We get the benefit of having nine lives, and we get the Guppy Transformation. Although we don't need Empty Vessel as much if we get the Guppy Transformation anyway, but... Let's not worry about that right now. We got not enough keys to worry about that double key room over there, so I'm not going to sweat that. I'm going to focus on uh, this floor, which has a great chance to give us a deal with the Devil. And we're still kind of in the running for Boss Rush, although it's not of pivotal importance. No deal with the Devil here? That's very unfortunate. Alright, well, we'll take uh, High Priestess, I think. Hematemesis, yes, we could use it on a second secret room to get some stuff, but we don't necessarily need it right now. Alright, sweet little uh, double secret room set up down here. Oh! We're actually on an XL floor on the depths, which means if we get a teleport card, we're set. Uh, set to at least get, uh, get to boss rush and, and get out for free, because I don't really want to fight it in our present situation. Um, might as well use a bomb here. Oh man, getting a spirit heart out of a, a random slot machine is pretty dope. No second guppy item. You know what? Life goes on. Get a leech, which is okay, and then our other item room is pretty close up here. Tech point five has been a huge get for us, by the way. Like, Guppy's head has been fine, but Tech Point 5 actually feels like my primary tiers right now. And I'm sure part of that is related to the fact that, um... Related to the fact that, um... Our tiers kind of blend in with the background right now. But, uh... I still feel like it's my greatest damage dealer. Smart decision, just... You gotta sacrifice a key to the key gods occasionally and they will pay you back in kind. Everybody knows this. It's as old as time immemorial. I... I mean, we have enough time that I feel like we can peep all these special rooms at least a little bit. So let's go check out boss trap room. Or mob trap room. And uh, our goal there is just going to be to hopefully find some red chests. Or yeah, at this point I might be interested in some golden chests. Or sorry, some, some regular chests to give me keys so I can open more golden chests. But I'm not going to... Uh, Act like that's of pivotal importance necessarily. Man, Dark Bomb would be a solid pickup. I just, I really don't want to be stuck with this damage for the rest of our natural lives. Okay, three red chests is well worth it. Let's just see what we got here. Hero Font. Huge! And nothing else out of those. Okay, so we'll do this. It'll cost us some time, but it could be well worth it. Two Spirit Arts means it's already worth it. And if we could just get some... Wow, that was a really lucky bomb. I was going to say if we could just get a, another Guppy item, then it's like a 10 out of 10 room. We can fly, so we don't need to worry about creeps so much. Uh, next thing, we'll go to the shop. We're really hoping for, like, Recycle or Chaos or, alternatively, a Teleportation card. Or just, you know, a recourse to donate a lot would also be fine as well. If we don't make Boss Rush, but we manage to donate all 73 of our cents, I'll consider that a pretty nice victory, honestly. Um, and if we really need to rush... To rush? If we really need to rush for Boss Rush, all we need to do is uh, use one of our... Or several of our bombs to get ourselves out of uh, these rooms that take a little longer than we'd otherwise like and you know every extra bomb helps out in that situation we still go like 1630 we're in a good spot definitely take nun's habit uh, I think maybe you take the Bible just so you never have to see it again on the run but that's only if we have a surplus of money once this is actually done and I, I will actually buy the card as well if we have the money for it but We'll start just by donating, because I think this is important. Boss Rush without a Teleport card does not interest me very much right now. We're not very powerful. And honestly, our HP is deceptive. We just have not gotten hit very much in the very recent past, which has been good. But uh, apart from that, I've, I've kind of... I'm, I'm a little more scared about our HP than maybe I should be. We've been getting a lot of like really lucky drops from uh, you know, Blue Fires and stuff like that. You know what? It looks like we're going to be able to donate all of our money here. Or at least almost all of it. And that is sweet. Thank you very much. 467 cents. I'm amazed at how quickly our donation machine has become healthy again. Because there was the time, very recently, when it was not good at all. Um, the fact that it's actually functional now is amazing to me. So with 14 bombs, we are still going to look for a teleport card. But we, we should be able to have a chance. Which is a like a little bit of a anemic way of saying, like, I'm not 100% confident we're going to make it the boss rush. Like, when you're semi-close to being there and you're at 17 minutes, you're like, yeah, no problem. But then when it, you know, 18 minutes comes faster than you'd like to admit. But we're going to bomb our way through any room we don't really want to deal with. And, I mean, I don't I don't feel the slightest hint of remorse for bombing our way for, through these rooms, which are uh, not very nice at all. 
We do have to kill our first boss before we can worry about boss rush as well, but with High Priestess, it shouldn't be uh, a huge challenge, I think. This guy, like, naturally tiny? No, we hit him with uh, Spider Mod, I guess? Yeah, two bombs. Take a shot at it. The rune could be good. Per throw, probably better than uh, the High Priestess. We're up to four keys again, which is nice. And we don't need Spirit Hearts, which is nice. And we didn't have to fight anything on that room, which was, like, doubly nice. Per throw is really important for, like, deals with the devil here. Okay, we, we should have a really good chance to make it now. Now that we can actually see how this uh, floor looks. So, invincibility would be dope, but, you know, fighting Gish is fairly standard. We know it's an enemy that has, like, pretty uh, obvious attack patterns, pretty obvious tells. And now, if we just get a little bit of damage, I can go into all the zaniness. All the zany stories I've wanted to talk about. For example, Nick keeps linking me to videos of people like cutting gummy Coke bottles. I don't understand it. He's really into it. He's going to talk to me about it on the show today. I'm excited to see what's up with that. But before we can get into those little, you know, nuggets of absurdity, we need to have, uh... We need to have, uh... A little bit of extra damage come through in the clutch. We're still not... I mean, boss rush is irrelevant at this point. Because I can't really guarantee myself access unless we get a teleporter here. We got to take a guppy item. And then I think we re-roll the other one. Okay, it became Necronomicon, which sucks. Please give me a teleport card somehow. I, I could have played the Demon Judgment, but I really... I didn't feel comfortable losing the HP necessary to do it. I can't... I hate myself for doing it, but I can't. Even though Death's Touch is amazing, I don't want to deal with that room. Now we're down on the womb and we have the wafer. And I... I feel for you. That was actually like a pretty good boss rush. And if we could have teleported, I would have been all over it. And watch like we'll just become guppy immediately here. And it'll look like we obviously could have done it. I mean, we have a curse room that we can get to for cheap. Because um, we have the wafer and the ability to fly, but... I, I had to err on the side of caution here, and like, there's nothing more boring, well, there's, the two most boring things in Isaac are the boss rush when you don't have a lot of damage, and hush when you don't have a lot of damage. And we're definitely in a situation where maybe it looks like we're doing deceptively well, but we had to get an XL floor and bomb our way through several rooms to have a chance at boss rush. So that should give you some indication of, of how our damage is right now, aka, not particularly good. But, obviously a guppy item would change that quite a, quite a good deal. I can't believe the Perthrow rune ended up being so useless for me. We're still in an amazing position to win, by the way. Like, a really, really good position to win. We've got a decent amount of HP, and it's a, effectively we have more than the regular maximum of HP because of the fact that our HP is doubled thanks to the wafer. So, I'm trying to think of a reason why it, it technically isn't doubled. It's just... It, last twice as long, but I don't think there is a reason. I think it effectively we have doubled HP. Mom's Pearl is also an awesome trinket to work in conjunction with us here, and we have a Demon Judgment. Oh, well, okay, if we're gonna get hit to start with, we might as well get some value out of having gotten hit. We could use our Strength card here to give, give us some extra plays as well, but instead we just got the Speed Ball, which is actually pretty good. Not the ideal syringe, but, you know, considering what we paid for it, I'd say that that's, it's pretty good. Our shot speed's actually important for our, our actual tiers. Not our Tech.5, or Tech X shots, sorry, but, uh, wait, no, Tech.5. Um, but, um, our, our tiers that actually, you know, like, are balls of moisture that travel through our body. Now, if you could just, uh... See, any, any moment now? Thank you. Worst time for invincibility. What do we do with our strength card? Oh, it's elementary, my dear Twatson. That was gross. I apologize. <laughs> I don't really apologize because the grossness of it is kind of funny to me, but I do apologize a little bit. I apologize to Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, at least. You know, the author of uh, Sherlock Holmes, Sir Hugh Laurie. Um... We use it on the deal with the devil if we get one to guarantee us uh, the ability to take one of those deals with the devils for free. Just such like a, a underpowered run with like lots of really good utility items. It's it's strange. The wafer is huge, man. We'd be so much worse off if we didn't have that right now. I'd be crapping my pants. 
Okay, um, use strength. We're pro because we have Abaddon, we're probably going to go pretty hard on this guy right here because we're going to get our HP back regardless. I don't think there's a good case to take um, my shadow, honestly. I, I really don't think it gives us anything. If we, we, we can't really even take it for free because we'd lose the spirit hearts in the process, but I'll we'll do that. And then if we get the placenta and can go back in, we'll take it. But if not, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Like, the Abaddon pickup is awesome. The loss of my shadow is meaningless. It really doesn't do anything for us. But the Abaddon damage upgrade is, is exactly what we needed there to feel a little bit better about things. And Balls of Steel is useless there because we already had max HP. But it's nice to know that it's in the system, you know? Baby, babe, you in my system. Northern Lion, why do you constantly reference uh, half of Outkast's solo album, Big Boy, Sir Luscious Left Foot? Well, it's because I think it's one of the best and perhaps un most underappreciated hip-hop albums of the early 2010s, quite honestly. Shine Block is a summer jam for those of you out there who spend your summers grinding instead of, you know, spending it under a parasol in Vegas, you know? Classic lines, I'll be damned if we be posing for pictures and throwing rice, maybe throwing up in Vegas while daddy is on the dice, you know? It's just, it's a lyrical playfulness, a melodic whimsy that I think elevates it above the average uh, genre fare. Figured, why why do any room at this point if I, if I don't want to? I've put in the fucking time on this one. If I don't want to do the... If I don't want to do the bullshit room, I'm not going to do the bullshit room. I also, oh, this could be a great chance to get spun. Even though I took damage, I'm not salty because of the spun chance. We didn't get it. Life goes on. The luck upgrade's real nice. Um, we do have a dice room. That's very interesting to me. I would possibly, here's like, a four room is basically useless because I can't guarantee getting a deal with the devil. Like, re-entry. A one room interests me a great deal and scares me a great deal because of the fact that it's going to reroll our whole run, but I'm going to do it. It's like dunce cap, mom's knife. <laughs> I don't care, dude. Mom's knife is great, and as long as we're only one guppy item away from the guppy transformation, that's all that matters to me right now. Is it a good reroll? I mean, it doesn't seem like a bad one. We also have the relic. We are going to lose the wafer as a result, though. Uh, we have bloody lust, so th that hit makes me stronger than you could possibly imagine. Um, Papilla Duplex, Strange Attractor. I would just like a reroll that doesn't give us, uh, Conjoined or Dunce Cap in the future. That's all I ask. Uh, safety Scissors? I guess I don't really care. Right, okay, you need to stand at a 45 with these guys. 45 degree angle. In case you were wondering, what does he mean by a 45? Does he mean a 45 caliber rifle or so? No, that would be... I don't know anything about guns. We've established this already. We've Hayden established... Nicked it already. It's meant to be like a reference to the German language and also the German video game Overwatch made by uh, Anaheim-based corporation uh, Blizzard Activision. Um, I don't think I really should care about anything in this life, because one day we're all going to be food for worms anyway, but I don't think I should really care about um, the range upgrade that we could get here, because uh, it doesn't matter. Like, we already have enough range. If anything, our, knife, our knives spending too much time away from home is actually bad for us, because uh, it takes us longer to reposition for the next shot, but Mom's Pearl is working out just fine, I'm assuming, and beyond that, you know, we're, we're getting a lot of spirit hearts to be real with you, thanks to the relic. So this is going to cost us two spirit arts to go to this room, but I think it's worth it for the guppy chance, which obviously fell flat on its dumb face. I didn't even want to become guppy anyway. Sun card. Huge card! I'm definitely going to use on the, uh, on the chest. I'm not trying to rush through the chest, but without the wafer, I feel a little bit less confident. Just a little bit. And I could use, uh, a little bit of a confidence booster. And the sun card, I think, has the potential to be that for us. Oh my god, the, you can feel the hunger within me. This is the stomach's making some growling noises. You might, because there's that, there's that Isaac episode recently where I, like, 
really had to go to the bathroom. You might think that as an adult, I should be capable of handling my biological needs. Uh, I mean, I am, for one, but also, you just sort of get, like, better at it as an adult, you know? Like, I'm, I'm hungry. That's alright. Soon I won't be hungry, because I will have eaten. You know, it's just... It, I'm, it's just a feeling. Nothing to worry about. Don't think it's impacting my performance here. I'm not suffering from the effects of malnutrition or starvation. So, uh... They, all things considered, I'll probably be fine. You know, there's people out there that do, like, juice fasts and stuff like that, so... I can't really complain about myself. Now, I'm not gonna talk to you about the scientific efficacy of a juice fast, or, uh... You know, running a gluten-free diet, if you're not really affected by gluten, if you're not, you know, afflicted with celiac disease. All I'll say is if it makes you feel better, then by all means, money well spent. And, you know, you gotta live and let live in this world. Personally, I don't understand the value of a juice cleanse, because I don't believe in the idea of nebulous toxins. But, if you wanna do it, and I mean this sincere, it sounds like I'm coming from a snarky place. Maybe you actually have documented weight loss as a result of it, maybe you just have a nebulous feeling of having felt better. That, if that's worth it for you, that's beautiful. I mean that sincerely. Beelzebub? Beelzebub? I think the world, you know, people are always like, if people cared about each other, the world would be a better place. I think, like, if people gave less of a shit about what other people were doing, the world would be a better place. You'd be like, oh, can you believe Jennifer from HR is on another, uh, juice cleanse? You know what? Good for her, man. She's just trying to find her way in the world. Do I think it's pseudoscientific nonsense? Yes, I do. Thank you for asking. At the same time, if it makes Jennifer happy, she's more likely to be a better person. And that makes my life better. So you know what? Kudos to you, Jennifer. Toxins or no toxins, I appreciate you, uh, you know, trying to make your, yourself a better person uh, for the people around you. That's really nice. People give, like, way too much of a shit about what other people are doing. That's the problem. Gotta care a little bit less. Unless it, like, actually affects you, in which case, you know, maybe care more. You'd be like, oh, no, another genocide. What do I care? Live and let live. No, okay, that's, like, obviously that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say that if Jennifer's doing a juice cleanse, don't be an asshole, okay? She's got bigger problems in her life. Sounds like a replacement song. Jennifer's doing a juice cleanse. It's right after Gary's got a boner on 1985's best album, Let It Be. Is that actually 1985's best album? You gotta consider it as being up there. I mean, The Smiths, The Queen is Dead, that's an 86 banger. That's, I mean, obviously a classic. Broke into the palace with a sponge and a rusty spanner. She said, I know you, and you cannot sing. I said, that's nothing, you should hear me play piano. Anyway. And Talking Heads Remain in Light, that's like an 82 jam. So I'm, yeah, man, I might be... I might be persuaded to give it to the replacements, let it be. That's a classic. Question mark card. Doubles the active effect of our spacebar item, which seems actually horrible. Um, but let's do it! We might be able to take advantage of it, but... At this point, it's looking pretty clear. You know, this is win 15? That's a nice place to be at. Oh, we must have, like, Celtic Cross or Virgo or something, but... That's a nice place to be at. We're not quite there yet, technically. Mom transformation is not uh, really too meaningful, but um, we should be there, like, basically right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.